Greetings viewers, thanks for tuning in once again. Today I'm giving you my first impressions on this bargain basement shoe I picked up, the New Balance Beacon version 1. So some of you have asked me to review some lower cost running shoes and I don't want to let you down viewers, I'm giving you what you want. Here is the New Balance Beacon version 1, managed to pick these up on Amazon for £40, 40 English pounds, an incredible bargain. I was really excited to get these shoes, they kind of been on my radar for a little while but cost was kind of prohibiting me from picking them up but I couldn't resist, especially in this beautiful team red for only £40. Uh, so it took a while to get here. I think they've done a few miles traveling across the sea uh, through Germany uh, to France and then across the channel to the UK but I'm really glad to have picked them up finally. I really wasn't surprised to see any changes between this version of the shoe, the version 1 and the version 2. I believe they've changed some stuff around the heel area here but of course minimal changes required. This shoe's been highly uh, regarded and lauded really amongst reviewers and runners over the past year or so. Really a quiet success of a shoe. People have really enjoyed running uh, long distances in this, lots of miles and doing recovery type runs. So. I was keen to pick this up and actually test it out for myself and see what all the fuss was about. They obviously don't have the massive marketing machine in place like Nike and Adidas uh, to kind of push those sales forward. So let's see what this shoe is about. So firstly onto the fit and feel of this shoe. How does this upper feel? Well it's certainly very soft, certainly very flexible. The mesh material is really comfortable on foot. The shoe looks somewhat wide kind of when you start to open it up here. I was a little bit perturbed by that to start with. But again, never judge the book by the cover. It provides really good lockdown. I found the laces are actually kind of a little bit elastic feeling. There's a little bit of give to them. So when I did sort of pull them to tighten them up, I had to sort of tug a little bit more than normal and they kind of sprang back into position. So I got a really good lockdown on the shoe without really even trying. I'm really liking the lacing system on this shoe. It's very traditional, very simple. No bizarre new systems, no strange overlays. Just standard traditional laces, I uh, really like this system. So the tongue has a kind of an elastic part either side of your foot. It only goes down to about the first set of eyelets. Um, you don't really feel it when it's actually on foot. It kind of envelops around the edges of your foot and I didn't really even notice it was there. No issues with the tongue moving around, it just stays exactly where it needs to be. The tongue does ride up a little bit around your ankle but I didn't have the problem uh, that some people have experienced with the Pegasus 35 of that kind of rubbing at all. I only wore my Stance tab socks, so they come up just around about where the tongue is. I had no issues at all there with rubbing. One issue I can see occurring and have seen in other reviews is that of these eyelets. That plastic kind of reinforced material there um, that has started to wear away and the mesh has started to become slightly damaged. Where the laces pass through the holes there's obviously a little bit of friction and it starts to actually wear that area down so over time we'll have to assess whether that becomes an issue. So for me the midsole and outsole combination on this shoe is where the real magic happens. The foam's totally exposed here on the outside apart from the small rubber pieces here at the forefoot and then two other pieces here at the rear heel part of the shoe. These appear to be specifically placed in terms of when you strike with your sort of midfoot area here and this area always seems to be a problem on running shoes and so hopefully it will increase the life of the shoe a little bit. 
that over about 10 miles, no considerable wear whatsoever up to now. So the midsole material on the fresh foam beacons is EVA, but it's not a formulation of EVA that I've ever run into before. It certainly has a feel very much of its own. It's cushioned, but without being overly spongy or pillow-like. It's got enough response and certainly running on some sort of pavement gravel kind of terrains, it did feel really nice. There was enough responsiveness there underneath my foot to really make me enjoy running in this shoe a great deal. So running on pavement, absolutely no problems with this shoe. On gravel too, there was good traction and even on some wet and slightly moist grass, uh, no problems, the beacons handled it really well. Those rubber parts on the outsole really, really worked well in terms of providing traction on some sort of broken pavement surfaces. I found that I got some really great push off with this shoe. I managed to achieve pace of around about seven minutes per mile over a 5K distance. It didn't feel like I was putting in any considerable effort to get to that as well. So I'm really impressed with this shoe. I felt that I could push the pace in this shoe a little bit more than I could in the Pegasus 36 over similar distances. That midsole and outsole material is really flexible as you can see here. I didn't have any real problems in terms of feeling like I wasn't being supported by the shoe. So I used the shoes on a couple of different runs up to now. 10k run, so 6.2 miles at around about 9 minute per mile pace and then another 5k run so that's 3.1 miles at seven minutes per mile pace. Really impressed with these shoes thus far. I'll update you as I get some more opportunities to take the shoe out and test it on a variety of different distances and paces. Originally I bought this shoe as a kind of easy, relaxed, sort of slow shoe for long runs, but I think it might fit in to do some different work for me. So, uh, a tool certainly that is very flexible and I'll be able to utilize it for a load of different things that I, that I didn't initially envisage. So overall, very impressed with this shoe, certainly for 40 pounds. Looks like it can handle a lot of different paces and I have yet to experience that insole slipping issue that almost everybody else has. I'm sure I will at some point, but it hasn't happened yet. Okay, that's all for me for today. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications of when new videos launch. Hit the like button and do please comment below. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.